the beginner's Bible. The begin. In the beginning, the world was empty. Darkness was everywhere. But God had a plan. God separated the light from the darkness. Let there be light, he said. And the light turned on. He called the light day. And he called the darkness night. This was the end of the very first day. Then God said, I will divide the waters. He separated the waters in the clouds above from the waters in the ocean below. He called the space between the sky this was the end of, of the second day. Next, God rolled back the waters and some dry ground appeared. He made plants of many shapes and colors. He made mountains, hills, and valleys. This was the end of the third day. God put the sh shining sun in the sky for daytime. He put the glowing moon and twinkling stars in the sky for nighttime. This was the end of the fourth day. On the fifth day God made swishy fish and squiggly creatures to live and squiggly creatures to live in the ocean. This then God was made birds to fly across the sky. On the sixth day God made animals to creep, crawl, hop, and go, go, go. Then from the dust, God made the most wonderful creature of all, a person. Person. God named him Adam. On the seventh day, God rested. Adam and Eve. God had plans planned to be be beautiful garden to plant a beautiful garden for Adam in the place called Eden. Eden. A river flowered through the garden. That's all he made. That's a lot. Adam loved his new home. His job was to name all the animals and carry for the garden. Care for the garden. Adam loved all the animals. But he couldn't but he could not find a friend that was just right for him. So God created a woman. Adam named her Eve. She was just right for Adam. Adam 
and Eve loved each other. Together, they took care of God's garden. The Sneaky Snake. Many trees grew in the garden in of Eden. God told Adam and Eve, you may eat the fruit from any tree except for one. Never eat the fruit from the tree of the no leaves led knowledge of good and evil. Now there was a sn sneaky snake in the garden. One day the snake saw Eve near the special tree. It hissed. It did God really tell you not to eat the fruit from this tree? The snake wasn't, was, went, wanted Eve to disobey God. It, it said, you should try some of this, to try some of this tasty fruit. If you eat it, you will be like God. You will be able to tell the difference between good and evil. The fruit looks tasty. Eve remembered what God had said, but she ate the fruit anyway. Then Eve gave some to Adam. He took a bite too. As the sun was going down, Adam and Eve heard God walking through the garden. He saw he was looking for them. Adam and Eve hid um, oh, um, Bugs. um, among, among the trees, they were afraid. What have you done? God asked. Did you eat the fruit from the forbidden tree? Adam said, yes, but Eve gave it to me. Eve said, yes, but the snake tricked me. God told the snake because of what you ha did, you will always crawl on your belly. Then he told Adam and Eve, because you disobeyed me, you can no longer live in the garden. Adam and Eve left the garden. God placed angels and flaming swords to guard the Entrance. Adam and Eve would not be allowed in the garden. Thank you for listening to me. I will see you again soon.